Hey, this is Tony here with Salt Strong, and in this video, I want to talk about and review the Live Target Hollow Body Topwater Mullet. Now, these come in different sizes. They have a smaller one, and they also have a larger one than this. This is kind of the middle size. And the good thing about these, or probably the most important thing that I like about them, is the ability to skip them underneath mangroves and docks and that they're weedless, they're snagless. So you can skip these underneath the docks and the mangroves where those fish hang out and work it as a topwater lure. Now, another thing I really like about this soft plastic hollow body topwater lure is that you can actually add a treble hook to it. Even though it is weedless with that single hook on there, if you're fishing out in open water or you find yourself missing a lot of strikes or maybe there's just smaller fish around and you wanna catch them, you can add a treble hook to the very bottom where the J hook is attached to. There's a little ring right there. Just attach a split ring and then put a treble hook on there. Or you can attach an inline hook right on there, a big uh, single inline hook, whichever you prefer, just to increase the chances of actually catching a fish with this lure. Now, the last thing I like about the lure is the detail to it. The detail is very nice. It's a very uh, realistic looking lure. As far as the paint goes, trying to, if you're trying to match the hatch, they say, if you're trying to match the color of the mullet, the size of the mullet, very detailed in that aspect. So very realistic looking. And as far as the cons go, there are a few things that I didn't like about the lure. What I didn't like is the fact that it gets a lot of water inside of the body. And with this being a topwater lure, you want that action on the surface. So what happens is it will fill with water after a few casts and it will actually start submarining or going down into the water as you're retrieving it and it really screws up the action. Also, when you get a bunch of water in there, when the lure is sitting still, it'll actually sit straight up like this in the water, which I didn't like too much. Now, another thing I didn't like about the lure, which is pretty much standard across the board with these live target lures, is the price. They're pretty pricey. This one, I got it at Dick's Sporting Goods and it was 14 bucks just for this one lure. Now, they will last for a while just because they're built to withstand a lot of fish. Uh, they're not like soft plastic lures that you would buy in a package that come in five or six, which is only really good for one fish each. But when you buy these single lures, they're, they're made to withstand some fish. So they're gonna last a while. That's why the price is usually pretty high. And lastly, going back to the issue with the water actually getting into the body, you can kind of hear some in there right now. But when the water gets in there, especially if you're fishing salt water, if you don't clean it out thoroughly, that salt water is gonna sit in there, that salt's gonna sit in there even after the water dries out. So that hook can end up getting corroded or rusted inside of the body and you won't be able to see it unless you actually push the entire hook out of the lure or pull the hook out of the lure. So just make sure that you're rinsing these off really good. Uh, if you do get salt water in there, maybe take a bottle of water or a bucket of fresh water, dip it in there, squeeze it, get that water inside, that fresh water, then squeeze that excess water out and then let it air dry. You don't wanna put it back in your tackle box completely wet and full of water because you will definitely damage those metal parts over time. So that will wrap up this review of the hollow body mullet made by Live Target. If you have any questions about this, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Also, if you want to see these lures in action, actually catching fish in some of our favorite spots and our detailed fishing reports, definitely take a look at the Salt Strong Fishing Club at saltstrongclub.com. So definitely check that out. Until then, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.